Hi, I'm Captain Oz with White Lines of Good Times, here to bring you your April fishing report here on Florida's Adventure Coast. So we're coming into our pre-spring bite. We're gonna have lots of bait showing up this time of year. It starts to get really good fishing. Water temps are warming up. Fish are starting to push from the insides back outside. Um, so you're gonna really wanna focus on live bait if you can. Uh, lots of species. We got our redfish, we got our snook coming out of creeks, we got trout moving into deeper water, we got our cobia bite showing up. So we'll have plenty of fish to target. Uh, if you like the inshore stuff, along with our near and offshore, looking for a sheephead, we're going to have a tarpon showing up here in the future, and it's just only going to get better through this month of April. All right, so we'll start off with our snook bite. For targeting your snook, you're going to want to look for some of the deeper trough areas, the mouth and points of the deeper areas where the water's flowing, the good ambush points. Your live bait's always gonna be number one. You're gonna want your white bait, your shrimp, your pinfish, free line or under a cork. Uh, artificial is another great way to target them using swim baits, uh, paddle tails, uh, gold spoons, twitch baits. It gives you a little bit of option for covering some water with them. Uh, we'll move on to our redfish, which are gonna wanna look for any kind of rock banks, structures around mangroves. That's gonna be great, great areas for your redfish. You're gonna to wanna to use live bait again for number one. It'll be white bait, shrimp, and pinfish. And you'll wanna free line them or throw them under a cork as well. Another thing for the artificial for redfish, paddle tails are always a really good option. Uh, your gulp shrimp with a jig head, very good. Um, top water is a really good bite for all the species as well. Moving on to our trout, we'll have Anywhere on your flats, looking for three to six foot of water as the water temps start to warm up, they're gonna be in the grassy areas and on the rocky areas. So those, we like to throw a gulp, a lot of times underneath a popping cork if you don't like just a simple soft plastic. So a couple more species that we have for our near shore bite is gonna be our cobia showing up, along with we still have a great sheephead bite. Um, and targeting these fish, you're gonna to wanna to focus on your cobia with uh, live baits looking for stingrays in three to six foot of water. Uh, it's always great to follow up with the paddle tail. You can kind of see how the reaction's gonna be. Uh, other than that, your sheephead bite is gonna be for all our bottom fishermen. You wanna drop down some shrimp on a jig head or a knocker rig and let it sit. A great way to pick the sheephead up, it's a great table fare. So when you're ready to get out on the water and do some exciting airboat fishing, exploring the backwaters that everybody can't reach, give us a call here at Light Lines of Good Times.